How you going, everybody? It's Simon from Tech My Life Video, back again. Now, there's been a lot of talk about the iPhone. Isn't there always? <laughs> one, way, one way or another. There's either an iPhone coming out, there's an iPhone out, there's a reception issues, there's always something going on. Something going on. Steve Jobs pointed out at the press conference a week ago that the iPhone was not the only phone with issues, signal issues, that is. Um, and they put a bunch of stuff on their website, um, uh, pointing at other phones like the, a Blackberry and a, a Samsung phone, uh, Samsung, Samsung, <laughs> a, a Samsung phone, uh, and I can't remember what I'm saying. Nokia came out and said, you know, bragged about their, their antenna, um, and, uh, and, um, so Steve um, posted a Nokia phone, you bastard! Um, the N97, uh, showing that it too had um, uh, some signal attenuation, which means signal drop when you hold the phone in a certain way. Nokia have made a statement saying they prioritise antenna performance over physical design if they're ever in conflict. Really? Really, Nokia? You could have fooled me. With the designs you've come coming out with, I was sure that physical design was your number one priority. The head of Nokia's mobile computing division has actually said that they will be more revolutionary with designs in the future. I wonder if this might lead to antenna issues. Mm. And still on Nokia news, Nokia have released some images of a concept called the Nokia Kinetic, which stands up to get your attention. I know something else that does this. Have a look at this. Oh, and before I forget one last thing on, oh, it's Nokia. I'm not sure what it is with Nokia this week, but uh, they're in everything. The Nokia CEO faces potentially getting the can because of the struggles of the Nokia brand against the iPhone. Hmm. Maybe you should have gone for physical design over antenna performance. And a bit of Microsoft news. Steve at Apple's safe, but Steve over at Microsoft, well, he's feeling a bit of pressure. I don't know if that's because he's an idiot or because of the iPhone. But uh, him and uh, Steve and what's his face from Nokia might get together and have a party. Huh? And jumping back to the iPhone, a company has released an end call sticker that you can ironically stick over the top of the gap between the two antenna on your iPhone 4, um, alleviating call drops. So there you go. And in news from down under, keep it clean, Optus, one of the phone suppliers in Australia, has started preparing for the launch of the iPhone 4 um, by contacting registered business and or current business customers and offering them a two-in-one uh, SIM device. They can for free replace their current SIM card with a two-in-one SIM card, which is actually a micro SIM encased inside a holder for a normal full-size SIM, which means you can use it in your current device. And then when you get your iPhone 4, you can simply take it out of that holding case and pop it into your iPhone 4. Um, they're freely available um, to current customers. You can just apply online and they will send one out to you. So here we have two iPhone 3GS's, just unlock them both, this one with Mr. Jobs and his iPad. Um, you'll see on this side it's got um, a slightly different um, uh, bar meter, uh, like signal meter, um, giving you the f up to five bars. Um, this is the old version of the software, 4.0. This is 4.0.1, which has just been released um, as of, well, last night Australia time, um, I think about two o'clock in the morning. Um, just before the press conference it was released um, and um, yeah just getting, getting a range of different readings here um, at the moment they're both on four that one had just jumped up to five where this one's still on four um, uh, and that's jumped up to five again um, I must admit in most of the uh, tests that I've been doing and observing um, the older software has generally been giving a slightly stronger signal um, I think generally um, I, I prefer the new look in some regards 
because um, over here you, you, you have a little dash for each um, uh, of the bars that isn't there. And in this case, the smallest bar looks almost like one of those dashes, so it looks like you've got no signal when you actually do still have um, a signal. Um, so there you go, that's a look at the, uh, at the phones. So there you go guys, jumped around a little bit on that one, but I wanted to show you the latest news and also just at the end there show you the new bar uh, or uh, signal bar system on iOS 4 that has just been released. Uh, I'm Simon from Tech My Life Video and uh, we'll see you next time. Please subscribe to my channel, rate, comment, all that good stuff to uh, quote Soldier Knows Best and we'll see you next time. Bye.